It's scary because sadly you're all racists, okay? <laughs> And so, and our world has changed. And I'll tell you, I always tell people, I'm not white now anymore. And they go, well, you look white, I understand. But white to me in America is not skin color, it's status, it's the way you're treated in society. And let's put it this, thank you, my one friend. And, <laughs> but let me put it this way. This difference between us and white people is, white people never suffer as a group when a few people do something bad in their group. You know, Middle Eastern people do. And honestly, white people, let's be honest, done your fair share of bad things. Corporate scandals. Presidential assassinations, NASCAR, <laughs> Paris Hilton, <laughs> country music. That is audio terrorism to me, my. <laughs> and then people aren't satisfied enough. Racial profiling of Arabs and Middle Eastern people is not enough. Now, have you heard this? They want to do religious profiling of Muslims at the airport. But it's not in your passport, so is now TSA officials gonna throw in a little question here and there to figure out your religion? They'll start out subtly, they're like, oh, did you pack your own bag? What do you think of pork? <laughs> if I drew a cartoon of Muhammad, would you get mad? <laughs> when I say Mecca, do you think of a holy place or an urban clothing line? <laughs> or maybe they'll have like a huge ham sandwich at the checkpoint, if you don't bite it, extra screening. Terrorists who hijack an airplane. Imagine that. My agent called me and said, we should go in and read for this part. I said, what's the part? She said, terrorist number four. <laughs> because number one, two, and three went to a black guy, a gay guy, and a Jew. 